Hi everyone, today I'm back with another tutorial. I'm going to do fashion illustration this time because I haven't done that in a while. So I wanted to draw Kendall Jenner for a while from the Met Gala 2021. So yeah, I know, a bit late to the party. But anyway, I really loved her look. But I wanted to use coloured pens today instead of pencils. And I think it will end up looking really, really nice. I'm going to show you a layering effect and how I normally do it when I do fashion illustration. I've got a piece of paper. This is actually just a white card. When I'm using felt tips, I like to use card. It, it's kind of fairly thick. It's 210 GSM. So this one is from Ryman. I will put all the links in the description below of the products that I used today. This is my reference image for today. Okay, so I've got a pencil here. I'm going to do a rough sketch of her pose. If this is something you struggle with, then I have a video on how to project an image onto a piece of paper so that you can trace. But I think it's always good to try and freehand it if you can. With fashion illustration, I find that it doesn't need to look perfect. It's just your interpretation of the pose and the outfit. So it's not going to be exact, but I'm just going to see see how it goes. So I'm going to just do a quick time lapse of me drawing out the pose. Okay, so I've got a few different colours here with pro markers. Um, I've got blush, I've got sandstone, and this one is actually from Stavolo, and this is just sort of a lighter peachy colour. So I'm kind of going to go from back to front with my layers. I'm going to start with the darkest colour. So where I see the shadows, I'm going to draw sections of this. So it's not going to be loads, it's just going to be a few sections where I see that there are shadows. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Actually that's all I'm going to do with that one. And then with blush I'm kind of just going to go over everything apart from obviously any sections that are meant to be white. So like the eyes. So I'm going to use the blush once more and go over it again, um, sections, but what I'm going to do is any section that's um, a bit paler I'm now going to leave and that will just help with the um, highlighting effect. So now what I'm going to use is a fine liner. So at the minute I've been using um, this one which is B5 High Tech Point 0.5. I've also got these um, pens and they come in packs of four which is really good. They've got 0.1mm, 0.3, 0.5 and 0.7. It's really handy to have different line whips um, because you can do, if there's tiny little features you can use the 0.1 and if there's bigger you can use the 0.5. So what I'm doing now is I'm just adding some of the extra features um, with the black fine liner and I'm just making sure that I am really careful. At the minute I'm using a 0 0.5 but I'm probably going to use go and use a 0 0.1 for a bit and that's just because I want to be super careful with this section. So just outline little bits that you want to. So I'm just doing really fine strokes and you can add in like little extra features, you know, just, just bits of her hair or whatever. It's totally up to you at this point. At the minute I'm just doing the outlining, I'm not doing any of the effects yet. And I'm just going to do her hands. If you find the hands hard, I literally just, I don't even put in that much detail, I just kind of draw a few lines here and there. <laughs> so the 0 0.1 or, um, pen actually is really good for outlining, it's just, it's so thin, it's really, it's really good. So I would suggest using the 0 0.1, but 
that um, when we do a bit more detail later I'll probably use thicker pen so I'm not even putting that much detail on the hands there again I'm not I'm not a fan of drawing hands <laughs> hands are hard to draw guys right now what I think I'll do is I'll start to do the hair what is that noise so this color is shale strange word I'm, I'm just choosing this color first just because i don't her hair is really dark but i don't particularly want to go in with black straight away so i'm just gonna start with this color and then i can just fill in black if i want if i need to okay so now i'll just use i can use the black one just to because obviously she has got black hair but Again, like I said, I didn't really want to straight away go in with the black. She's got like a little bit of hair around there, her face there. Also, I'm going to put like a tiny bit of colour in her eyebrows. And also in her eyes, I'm going to put a bit of this brown. I'm just adding a few more effects now. So I'm going in with the colour that we first used, which was sandstone. And I'm just adding in where a few more shadows are on her face um, just so that that kind of rounds it off need the traditional Kardashian contour make sure that's there again maybe I'll add a little bit more into the hands now I don't really like this pink colour I used um, but I mean it's all about trial and error so yes I make lots of mistakes too so now we've got that bit done, I'm going to focus on the little patterns and what I'm going to do is that they're kind of like little swirly designs. So what I'm going to do is literally kind of go like that. It's like a scribble effect and that's what I'm going to do to create the neck piece. Again this is with the 0.5 again she's got a similar thing i'd say starting from like here upwards so i'm going to do the same thing here so that's those bits done then i'm going to tackle these shoulder shoulder bits and i'm just going to use a bit of a thicker one the 0 0.5 one and I'm gonna like draw patterns that I see. Okay, so now we need to work on using a bit of the white. So I'm actually gonna use um, white acrylic with a really thin paintbrush just to create some extra little details. I'm just gonna pop that in some of the sections that I feel need it. So there's like there's actually lots of little white bits around here. Okay, so I finished putting on some white and I'm really happy with the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all soon with a new video. Bye guys.